guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video it's been a while since I've done my traditional Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath tutorial videos so today I wanted to dig into a palette that I have not yet used on my channel and that is the Natasha Denona 28 green brown palette I talked about this in my best and worst shadow palette of 13 different brands and this one was my best and I hadn't used it yet so that is what inspired me to do this tutorial it's also just been such a long time and I know you guys love this series so if you would like to see how I got this really pretty monochromatic crazy green look then just keep watching So I've already primed my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Using my blinged brush E13, I'm taking this really cool toned light taupey gray shade. This is going to work as our transition. What inspired me to do this look was my best and worst video and I put the Natasha Denona 28 pans as the best palettes and I realized I'd never done a tutorial using this palette. So that's kind of what inspired this. So we are going to put a satin in the crease. I'm using this seafoam green with a little bit of a yellow shimmer to it. And this shade is so amazing. It spreads out so easily and it really just lays down that base layer of green that I was looking for. With this palette, you don't need to go all super green, by the way. <laughs> They're very neutral shades that you can get an everyday look or an olive kind of green look. I just wanted to go with those seafoam green blues for the eye today. You can see how easily this is spreading. This is an Isom S33 by the way and I'm gonna go back with my fluffier brush kind of blend this up. With a MAC 217, I'm taking this shimmery forest green shade. I picked a brush that wasn't too dense so that I could get this soft depth. Here. Not looking for too much precision with this look, just some depth within the shades. So if you applied this with a finger, you could get a really mean dark green smoky eye. That would be incredible. Always going back with the blending brush. To brighten everything up, taking my refer number two brush, I'm taking this shade right here. So this is going to bring back some life and color into this look. And I'm popping that right into the center of the eyelid. Here's where you can see that amazing Natasha Denona formula come in. I wanted to add some more of that blue green in here so with my Isam W21 brush I'm taking this and then I'm popping this into the inner corner. This one doesn't have as much shimmer as I wanted it to have but that's okay that's what the inner corner highlight is for. Blend these out so it doesn't look muddy. We're taking this green silver here using a pencil brush. And this is going to be that inner corner color and then right underneath the brow bone. It's in the shade just amazing. I love it so much. Here is not gonna work, which is why we did the eyes first. So make sure you clean this up good. And I am going to sharpen this outer edge right here. Nothing too harsh, but just give it a little bit of an angle. Okay, so we will get back to the eyes, but we're gonna do a voiceover for the face. I'm going for an all over glowy kind of face today. So I'm using my matte strobe cream in the pink color and I'm just applying that to my skin. This is going to create a very natural glow to the skin just to start our base off. I'm using a skin tone color of my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I'm just using that to spot conceal and perfect my face before we put the actual foundations on top. I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and I'm mixing it with a little bit of my Natasha Denona Face Glow foundation. I'm using the Makeup Forever just for the natural coverage that it leaves and the finish and then I'm mixing it with the Natasha Denona because the Natasha Denona really adds that glow. It can be too glowy alone so that's why I mixed it with the Makeup Forever and of course I'm using a beauty blender to blend that all out.
For my under eyes, I'm mixing two shades of the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer to get my perfect brightening and coverage kind of color. So you'll see me spreading that out. I like this concealer. I don't love it. It can be a little bit dry. So the way for me to get it to work, of course, is to moisturize my under eyes before I apply. You can also see the padding motions that I am using to the center of my face as well. I'm just trying to spread the concealer to the center of the face so that everything looks a little bit more cohesive and that I don't have a startling light under eye. And to set everything, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder. This is not my favorite powder. It's a bit drying, but honestly, it does get the job done and it is a nice blurring powder as well. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow today to kind of shade in my face. I like this color because it's not really warm, it's more neutral, so it works perfect with looks that I don't really want to look super bronze like I'd been just to the beach for. So this is a really great kind of universal color. So moving back into the eyes very quickly, we're going to use a seafoam green crease shade. I'm using a refer number three brush to trace along my lash line. Then we're going to go into this green shade that's in the center of our lid. We have to go monochromatic here. The dark forest green. This we're gonna use to really deepen and make this eye look more dramatic. So I did get some fallout, so I'm gonna very, very carefully try and sweep that away. It's getting a little bit stuck on this cheek. This is our worst nightmare. Okay, I need some more powder. That's a little better. Not perfect, but we'll have blush and highlighter to kind of fuse everything. So how perfect is this liner? This is Cat Suit from ColourPop. I mean, it's the wrong tone of green, but I think it'll do well with this look. Still looks really good. Time to move back out to the face. For blush today, I chose my Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio in Peachy Love, and I'm just using that last shade to lightly warm up my cheeks and add some color back into my face using my Sonia G Soft Blush Brush. I'm taking the peachy highlight from the Dior Glow Face Palette in the shade Glitz, and I'm going to use that to highlight my cheekbones and all of the places I like to highlight. I love this highlight. It's one of my favorites in the world. Highly recommend. I am preparing my lashes for my Lily Lashes in Miami, which you will see me applying in a few moments. I'm lining my lips with the Olimar Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Dulce. And then I'm taking my Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in my main. It's just a beautiful peachy liquid lipstick and that is going on my lips. And then I'm topping it off with Fortune Cookie Gloss from NYX.
All right, and here is the finished look. I love how it turns out. You guys know how much I love my monochromatic kind of single colored eye looks and I'm obsessed with this. And what I love especially about this palette is even though this look is so crazy green, there's so many different tones in here. You can play with warm browns. You can play with olives. You don't have to do this crazy green look that I did. You have different tones of greens that you could go towards. And then of course you also have this section right here where it's more cool toned kind of gray colors so this palette is so universal but i couldn't help myself i wanted to do full green for my first tutorial on this palette on here and i hope you guys enjoyed this video these are one of my favorite palettes from natasha denona and i can't believe i haven't done a tutorial on it yet so happy i could get this up for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you found it helpful if you recreate this look make sure you post it on instagram in some way shape or form and tag me i love seeing the looks you guys recreate that i do so thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.